What's up, guys? Can you guys see me? I don't know if you guys can see me. All right. What's up, guys? This is Sonny back with another video. I don't really do live stream, but today I just felt like I should do a live stream and share with you guys a little update on the giveaway and stuff. And also, uh, I just want to keep you guys on the loop about um, what's going to happen with the channel. And I'm also thinking about changing the channel name. Now, there's a reason why I'm planning on changing the channel name because uh, because my channel name is after my name. So what I'm thinking, if let's put this way, if someone's searching and they see like Sunny Not, they wouldn't know if that's a tech channel or if that's like, uh, what is it? So I want to basically change the channel name and add like, uh, like a tech, you know, in front of the channel name. So maybe tech something, you know, I think that will be a little bit more, you know, fair. I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think? I should change my channel name or I should just stick with the name I have, Sunny Nut. And also, as you guys know, I'm giving away two graphics cards. Okay, so stay tuned because uh, the moment I hit uh, 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away uh, two graphics cards. So I'm giving you away uh, XFX AMD uh, RX 480. Uh, 4 gig version, and I'm giving away a uh, GTX 1060 3 gig version. So stay tuned for that. And um, also, some of you were asking me, um, you guys were sending me messages and stuff, and you guys were asking me, should you st uh, wait for uh, Zen or you should just build uh, an AMD build right now? Now, it's all depend on you guys. You know, if you guys are in a budget and you're planning on picking up a uh, maybe AMD FX 8320, yes, you can get a really good deal on an AMD uh, 8320 right now. Like, uh, even if you buy from, um, I believe, uh, from Amazon, I don't know how much in the Amazon, but in Newegg, you can pick up one for, I believe, 129 uh, FX 8320, but I think FX 8320 right now, uh, if you have a micro center, now I know some of you be like, oh, I, we don't have a micro center around us. So if you don't have a micro center, then uh, you know, your best bet is the Newegg or maybe some other website. But when I bought my uh, AMD FX 8320, I bought it from a uh, micro center and I paid literally $79 and I picked up a motherboard for around uh, $14. So I don't know if you guys watched that video that AMD built. So I don't know. You know, if you are in the budget, then you should build uh, with the AMD FX. You can even go with the FX63, you know, because the price is dropping right now, you know. So yeah. But um, yeah, now carefully. So should you buy a Skylake uh, i7 6700K right now or just wait for the next gen, okay? Now, okay, the thing is, guys, uh, like, I'll talk about myself. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really wait for, like, next CPU to come out because Intel is not really giving us all that, okay? We're not getting, like, a huge performance increase from, like, Haswell uh, to Skylake. We didn't really get... So the 4790K, you can still overclock the CPU and uh, compete at i7-6700. Basically, it's the same CPU. You are not uh, basically getting a huge uh, performance you know, out of uh, both of the CPU, the Skylake or the Haswell. So, or you know, even the uh, Broadwell, okay? So from, like right now I'm using it uh, for my personal rig I have. Uh, e5 2670 is a 12 core a v3 processor and i don't really I, I think that's more than enough for me like i i really don't care about like upgrading from this cpu to the next gen i because you're not going to see a huge difference between uh you know this like Right now, the V3 CPU, like you guys already seen, from going from an E5 26, uh, example, E5 26, uh, 70, right? 
v3 versus v4 okay or e5 26 uh, uh 40 v3 versus v4 you you're not really getting a huge performance increase so basically that jump upgrading the motherboard and all that you know like some of the motherboard doesn't even support the uh the v4 processor so if you have a uh broadwell processor and some of the motherboard like i remember the astro founder yeah you have to upgrade the bios but even with virus update, I remember the uh, Astrog uh, Fatality or something I had. Even I did the virus update, it still didn't work. So I don't know. You know, just my two cents. But overall, I think for a workstation, like if you are someone who's planning to maybe build a PC and just use for gaming slash workstation use, and you want something heavy, maybe you know, you like streaming sometime. Or you like to uh, maybe you like to uh, stream in Twitch, or you like to stream YouTube, like whatever. I don't know. So basically, I'll definitely tell you guys to go with the X99 because right now X99 motherboard price is dropping. You guys can uh, pick up uh, X99 motherboard right now if you look around really in eBay, Newegg, everywhere. Hundred fifty dollar, you can pick up an X99 motherboard, and. Uh, and processor, you guys can pick up. Okay, here's the problem. So X99 motherboard, you can pick up for 150, 160. Newegg, open box, or even like a low-end motherboard. The RAMs, DDR4 RAMs, price drops. So you can pick up a 16 gig DDR4 RAM uh, Corsair uh, Vengeance. You can pick up from Newegg for like 100 bucks, okay? The only problem is the processor, okay? So the 5020K still, expensive processor okay so for 5020k you still will pay somewhere like 380 390 even 400 sometimes now some of you were asking me uh oh we can go with the engineering sample you can go with the engineering sample but it's not legal to use an engineering sample so you're not supposed to use an engineering sample the engineering sample i was using it was test cpus and then you know that was about it, but I do I recommend you guys to get a uh, ES CPU like an E5 uh, 2600 uh, series CPU. No, don't get an engineering sample CPU for yourself. You know, get something because first thing, like if you go to CPU Z, you're not even gonna see the information about the CPU because this is an engineering sample. You know. Okay, uh, Mimi regime. Okay, I need a motherboard for the X5670, any suggestion? Are you planning on overclocking your X5670? Uh, or you just want to, you know, have the six core and that's about it, you know? Because if you if you don't want to overclock the CPU uh, to 2.8 uh, or 3.8, okay. You can go with Asus motherboard. Um, the motherboard I had, I remember PT. Uh, let me give you the exact model of the motherboard I had. Okay, um, give me a second. Okay, so you can go with Asus P6 X58D-E. Let me just put in the chat for you. I personally like that motherboard, and with that motherboard, I managed to overclock my X5670 all the way to 4.5 gigahertz. Okay, so as the Asus motherboard, and you can upgrade the BIOS and I got lucky. I, I okay. So, from Canada, there was someone who was selling like a lot, and, and and I made the biggest mistake. I should have bought like couple, and I bought one for. You're not gonna believe. I paid only ninety seven buck, but this motherboard is gonna cost you at least hundred sixty, hundred seventy. But you know what? Let me just jump in uh, eBay real quick because I think some other motherboard was going for pretty good price. X58 and uh, and guys, 
I do recommend X58 build. Okay, if you're a content creator, gamer, you just started a YouTube channel, go with the X58 build. You can't go wrong with the X58 build. Uh, I know the motherboard is a little pricey, but hey, even though the motherboard is a little pricey, okay, you can go with like X, uh, so, okay, X56 series processor, okay? X5650 uh, uh, processor, okay? You can go with E55 series processor. You can go with so many processors with the X58 motherboard. And my recommended setup will be for someone if you're really into a budget, like X5670, I think, goes for around uh, $60, if, I, if I'm not wrong. So uh, let me see. I'll try to, oh, like, Hazel, okay, I'm gonna give you guys a link in eBay right now. The motherboard I just recommended is going for, okay, you guys can check. Okay, wow. So the motherboard I just recommended you guys, not exact model, but it's exact, okay? Because the one I recommended was like P6X50D, and this one is uh, Asus P6X50D. It's the same thing, Pro, so don't worry. And this motherboard comes with the i 960 for 199 So I think, I don't know, you can't go wrong. Uh, and basically, you guys also wanted to know uh, what I do for a living, OK? So what I do for a living, you guys already know what I do for a living. I'm not a full-time uh, YouTuber because you guys don't see video like I'm dropping every day. Okay, the reason, there's a reason why, okay? Okay, I do some, uh, like I, I do computer builds for like uh, like a little office and stuff. You know, I set up their office, you know, little IT support and stuff. So, you know, that's like my side job. I, I don't work full-time because I, you know, I try to make videos and for you guys and stuff. And also, I have two kids, OK? So I have one three years old, and I have one right now three months. So yes, I'm married with two kids. So I'm planning, planning on uh, coming to YouTube for full time. But if I do come to YouTube for full time, I need a lot more traffic than what I have in my channel right now. So I will definitely need more view, more subscriber, OK? And yes, um, as you guys seen my car rate video, so I'm trying to get as many uh, sponsors uh, to my channel. And I don't know if you guys know, it's not easy to get sponsors, okay? It's really hard for, uh, you know, like any companies to, because my channel is not all that big. So basically I have to buy everything what I can afford. Um, I don't get sponsors and stuff, or I don't get uh, like review samples and stuff. So, thanks to Kyrie, they they uh, they did send me some review sample. Uh, as you guys seen, I did uh, some video for you guys. The Kyrie, um, Kyrie H5 uh, cooler. Now, Kyrie H5 cooler is a great cooler, guys. Now, when I made that video about the Kyrie H5 cooler, the little review and stuff. Now, you can fit that cooler in an NZXT S340 case. You, and also, you can close the door, or the, 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 you know, the side panel also. Really tight fit, but you can fit. Basically, Kyrick H5 cooler is for like a full tower, OK? Not for like, like if you have, a, I wouldn't say that a full tower, like a freckle um, design defined R5 case or a, uh, or a defined S case. Or you know something even bigger than like the Be Quiet, the new case, or Corsair. Like uh, even you can fit uh, Corsair 400C is good enough. You can fit a uh, Kyrie uh, H5 cooler in it. I do recommend that cooler. The temperature I was getting with that cooler, I'm really impressed. And also the video I made uh, like two days ago, uh, Kyrie A80, okay, a hybrid liquid cooler, guys. I had my i7-5020K overclocked to 4.4 gigahertz. And the temp I was getting, I don't know, I was getting 72 Celsius. And I was really surprised getting that type of temperature. Uh, that OK, the cooler I was using before was Corsair H105. That's a 120 
I mean, uh, the cooler. So, and I believe two, uh, 240. Yeah, I think that was a 240. Now, the one I'm using right now from Kyrie A80, uh, a 280 millimeter bigger cooler. And uh, the temperature I'm getting right now, beautiful. Now, I don't have the processor in there. Uh, I'm not pro I don't have the processor in there right now. Uh, I too like my Effect 2670 V3, so I installed the processor and I I have the i 750 20K. What I'm planning on doing, I'm planning on picking up a, another X99 motherboard and I'll just have like a two separate build because you know sometimes I take my uh, the Xeon E5 2670 V3 processor out, then I install the i 750 20K for the benchmark and stuff. So I don't know. Uh, let me show you guys. All right. So, so for my benchmark, I use this processor. Okay, for all my benchmark and stuff, i seven fifty twenty k. All right. And uh, yeah, for my rendering and everything, I use my regular processor, uh, the E five twenty six seventy V three. And uh, now, guys, I do love this processor. Okay, for if you can get a good deal on this processor right now, like for if you can get a FX eighty three twenty, okay, for maybe hundred dollar. And a motherboard, if you can pick up one for like $50, I think you can build a beautiful PC. Trust me. Because uh, the way this, uh, if I, uh, sorry, if I, okay, one thing I would like to clear before anything. Okay, I, that's like my first gaming AMD build I ever built in my uh, channel. Normally, I only build. Intel build like I love building x99 with the Xeon processor e5 series processor and then my second build that I really love building is the x58 build Can never get over x58 build the way x58 perform like I said if you can pick up a x58 motherboard for $150 you pick up a x5650 for $50 pick up some DDR3 RAM for pick up like eight gig, okay, eight or sixteen gig. So eight gig you can pick up for like twenty buck, and if you get like sixteen gig use, uh, you can pick up maybe for like forty buck from uh, eBay, and uh, pick up like a SSD, uh, like a cheap SSD. Pick up like a SanDisk SSD, hundred and twenty eight gig, uh, and and whatever graphic card you feel like. So I tested my X fifty eight build with the uh, GTX uh, ten seventy. Uh, 970, GTX 1060, and the RX 480 8-gig version. And trust me, the X5650 processor and X5670 processor does not bottleneck at all. I don't care who say what. X56, X56, uh, 50 or X5670, if you overclock that processor and you overclock it, uh, maybe a Haswell, uh, Haswell i7-4790K, and you put both of the processor to work, trust me, X5660 will beat that processor. But you have to overclock that X5650. If you can overclock it, X5650 to uh, maybe, what can I say, maybe all the way 4.4 gigahertz, you just did it. You just did it. And get a, like, a good liquid cooler, uh, go with... Uh, Go with like you can go with Corsair or Kyrie. The Kyrie um, A80 you can pick up one from New York for right now. I think hundred and four dollar if I'm not wrong. So definitely great. You know like I don't know. see uh, you got a uh, sixteen GB of Crucial Ballistic. Oh, I love Crucial RAMs. Um, my last build that I built AMD build I was using the Crucial Ballistic Sports sixteen gigs. The best you know. The reason I like Crucial RAMs or the Corsair RAMs, the RAMs never went bad at me, even though I overclocked the hell out of those RAMs. Like, 
I had the crucial ballistic uh, over clock to 1866 with 1. Uh, 1. 1.6 but you don't have to but I just had that anyway for like uh, 1.6 but um, just remember one thing okay with RAM overclock, you're not going to get a huge performance. So if you think by overclocking the RAM, you are going to get a huge performance, no, you're not going to get. You can ask any YouTuber, you can, anyone, OK? OK, the CPU overclock, you are going to get higher FPS, OK? Quicker rendering time. GPU overclock, you're going to get a higher performance FPS uh, if you use the CUDA to uh, maybe render or open CL, you're going to get the performance. But if you overclock your RAMs, you're not going to get the performance you want. You're just not going to get it. Because RAM, uh, is, you're not going to get it. Trust me, you can test it yourself. If you have uh, like a 16 gig RAM with 1600 megahertz and you overclock that RAM all the way to maybe 20, 2133 megahertz or 1866, you're not going to get a huge performance. OK, Mimi, someone got 4 gigahertz on a i7-920 on this motherboard. Oh, OK, OK. Hey, the i7 processor, the, the, the first gen, uh, the 920 or the 930, still good processor. If you can overclock those processor, uh, do you want me to give you the link again? Hold on, hold on. How about, let me see if I can get you the, how about the, oh shit, sorry, Siri, Siri. All right. Try with the order number, maybe you'll have better luck. I don't know, item, item number, yeah. X58 Extreme Chipset Socket LG. Hmm. Okay. So, and uh, one more thing I wanted to show you guys. All right. So I picked up a. I don't know if I. I, I don't know if I did mention it. Oh, before so what? The reason I have this this hat on because uh, I had to clean snow. It was snowing today. I live in Queens, New York, OK? And so I had to clean the snow, OK? It was pretty messy. As you guys can see, my jacket right there, I just finished cleaning before I start making this video. And I just came in. And I was freezing out there. It's kind of cold, guys. So yeah, that's the reason I had the hat on. And let me just share with you guys. I don't know if I did share with you guys my Lumix G7 camera. I got a good deal on this camera. Black Friday, I picked it up for four ninety nine from Best Buy. Not really. I didn't really get a crazy deal, but a pretty okay deal. And one thing I gotta say about this camera: if you're planning on picking up a video camera, okay, like a you know budget four uh, K camera, I don't really shoot four K uh, video for my YouTube channel, so ten eighty p is good enough for me. But if you're planning on picking up a camera guys here is my recommend go with a Panasonic Lumix G7 stock lens okay I didn't really do nothing to it okay and works flawlessly you guys can watch my recent video uh, like a uh, Kyrie A80 video I should uh, with the uh, with the Lumix G7 and also the AMD build uh, app video also with the G7 and uh, I believe Kyrie, a, a Kyrie H5 video also with this camera. So yes, um, you can't go wrong with the Panasonic G7, you know what I mean? And that's about it, guys. I just wanted to chit chat with you guys, you know, I just wanted to talk to you. I know there's not too many people watching. Cause I, you know, I didn't create an event. I just, you know, I just went and like, I just, you know, hell of it. I just <laughs> go, you know, live right now. But um, 
that's about it, guys. If you guys have any other question or any anything you guys want to recommend me or any videos you guys want to see, um, let me know. You know. Also, don't forget to add me in my Twitter. Okay, don't forget to add um, at not sunny seven Twitter, Instagram not sunny seven. Uh, I don't really use Snapchat like that, but I think I should start using Snapchat so I can show you guys like a quick, uh, you know, what's going on or what, what will be coming up next. So that's about it. Uh, I just wanted to make this quick uh, live stream and show you guys what's going on. I don't know what I was talking about, but like I said, just a quick bullshitting around, okay? And I hope you guys enjoy it. And that should be it, guys. See you guys next time. Peace.